Is there a conspiracy? Absolutely yes. Has the population around us been conditioned to put down anyone who even says the word conspiracy, let alone believes it? The answer is yes. Let's join in this movie that's set in the context of Germany in the 1930s. Lord Fritz, you're on time. Can't believe it. How's Natalia? Please, I do not speak of Natalia. Bad is that? Bad. Perhaps I cut myself at the throat. Huh? Prepositions, Fritz. Prepositions. In the throat? <laughs> Just cut my throat. And I assure you, they are all in it together. If all the Jews are bankers, then how can they be communists too? Sell. Very sell, of course. If they can't destroy us one way, they try the other. You don't really believe that, do you? But you read it every day in the Völkische Beobachter. That ridiculous Nazi tribe. It is an established fact, Herr Robert, that there exists a well-organized international conspiracy of Jewish bankers and communists. It's also an established fact, Herr Ludwig, there exists another well-organized group of which you're obviously a member. The International Conspiracy of Horses Arses. I wish the Kaiser was back. Those days we had order. I expect Schneider will raise my rent after that little exhibition. Oh, well. What the hell? Let's get on with those prepositions. What a black day that I'm meeting that girl. I, I thought you loved her. Is there a conspiracy? Sure there is. Can I prove it? Well, I've been trying with some videos. But I'm going to forsake the videos and take you right to Holy Scripture. Was there a conspiracy in heaven against God Almighty? Yes. Lucifer. Did Lucifer enlist angels in the conspiracy? Yes. How many? One third. 33.333. That's why they love the 33. Was there a conspiracy against Adam and Eve? Sure. The devil. Was there a conspiracy against Jesus? Absolutely. The Pharisees, the Sadducees, the high priests, they continually conspired against him and met behind his back and looked for the right moment to seize him and tried to murder him. You read Psalm 2. Why do the nations rage, it says in King James. Some more modern translations will translate, conspire against the Lord, God Almighty and His Anointed One, which is His Son, Jesus. Was there a conspiracy? In eternity past, yes. Was there a conspiracy against Jesus? Yes. Is there a conspiracy now? Absolutely. Now many folks will call it the New World Order. 
novos odo seclorum. Latin phrase on the back of the one dollar bill by the pyramid. And knew it, Septus announcing this new world order. You see, here's what it's based on. There's only two ages. This age and the age to come. So there's only two orders, so to speak. The order of this world and the order that Jesus Christ will bring in his return to earth. And so the devil wants to seize that second one. The devil doesn't want Jesus to return. So the devil is doing everything to implement that order. Hence, it's called the New World Order. Because the devil wants to be in charge of it. Now here's the facts. The devil will never get it. The devil will never get it. It belongs to Jesus. And Jesus alone. So, when you hear references to the New World Order, yes, it's genuine. Yes, the nations work together. Yes, they rage and conspire. And where is the primary conspiracy directed? Against God Almighty. Against Jesus the Christ. Oh, but you're included in that too. Because you see, the devil wants to make everyone his servant. Everyone under his rule. And no one under the rule and reign of Jesus. So is there a new world order? The devil's trying. Is it genuine right now? Absolutely. Is there a conspiracy that is worldwide, from nation to nation to nation, connected? Absolutely. I refer you to Psalm number 2. Read it. Study it. And you'll see. But the good news is this. the new world order will not succeed because Jesus the Christ is coming and he'll put an end to all the foolish attempts of the devil. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'd like to thank you for being patient with me in all my videos. End of video.